Hi, kindergarten. I miss you all so much and you're doing very, very well in all of the work that you've been working on at home. So this week's book is called A Tale for Easter by Tasha Tudor. You can never tell what might happen on Easter. You're not always sure when it is coming, even though you go to Sunday school. You can guess it's near when mama makes you stand still while she fits a new dress on you. But it is only when Good Friday comes and you have hot cross buns for tea that you know for certain Easter will be the day after tomorrow. On Saturday, you go and ask the chickens to lay you plenty of Easter eggs. If you have been very good the whole year through, the night before Easter, you will dream the loveliest of dreams. One will be about a little fawn who makes you as light as a thistle down and takes you on her back and gallops through the woods and the fields. She shows you rabbits smoothing their sleek coats for Easter morning and mice with beady eyes and shining whiskers. Little lambs too, in fields of buttercups. And Easter ducklings swimming among the lily pads. If you have been especially good and done nearly everything you've been told, she will take you up, up, over the misty, moisty clouds where the bluebirds dye their feathers and the robins find the color for their eggs. But this is only if you have been good and can find the stardust on the daffodils with your eyes tight shut. And when you wake up in the morning, there isn't any fun at all. And you are just you again, but often there are colored eggs in your shoes or in your best bonnet or a basket of ducklings beside your bowl of porridge. There might even be a bunny on grandma's rocking chair. You can never really tell for anything might happen on Easter. The end.